welcome to JK Otaku Pop. And as you guys can see in front of you, we do have the Train On Celebrations playmat, which means we're doing another Pokemon unboxing video. So for today's video, you guys probably saw it in the title and on the thumbnail, but we'll be checking out both the Brilliant Stars Elite Trainer Box normal version, as well as the Elite Trainer Box Pokemon Center Edition. Like, just right off the bat, these two are completely different, just from the style and the boxes. As you guys can see, this does have a gold foil around it, where this is just straight up, like, there. That makes sense. Honestly, to be honest, I do prefer the regular ET box, ETB box look over the Pokemon Center one. But, as you guys can see, the sides are pretty much the same. The backs are different, obviously, telling you what it's included. And just going a quick overview, the regular ETB only comes with 8 booster packs while the Pokemon Center Edition comes with 10. And the Pokemon Center one does come with different styles of, you know, extra goodies. You do get different sleeves, you do get a deck box. I believe these are metal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the metallic coin, whereas the uh, ETB regular one doesn't even come with a coin. So those are pretty much the differences. The price differences, I believe this is, you know, I'm not going to say the price. I'll just put the price on the screen for both of them. And yeah, that's great to unboxing. Well, I said that all weird. Let's get to unboxing some brilliant stars. And we'll start off with the regular ETB. So I'm really excited for this set. I've been really looking forward to getting some more trainer gallery stuff. Since I know some of this is a continue, or it's pretty much the continuation, their English version of the VMAX Climax from the Japanese sets. So you go ahead and open this box up. So I'm looking for pretty much any of the trainer arts or any of the Charizards really. So go ahead and open that up. Nothing like opening an ETB, honestly. I feel like opening ETBs are more fun than booster packs only because they, they are essentially really a box whereas a booster box is more just packs. If, if that makes any sense. Anyways, go ahead and open this up. As you guys can see, it does come with a player's guide. And it does tell you cards in the set, etc. So if you want to complete your set, go look through this. And it looks like... Oh, it does show you the trainer's gallery. In there, so you can see what trainer's gallery cards there are. Very cool. I always enjoy having these. And if you look in the inside of the sleeve that came with the ETV, you do have a design that you can open up by pulling this apart if I don't do that I try and keep my ETBs pretty much like this put this to the side yeah here we go right off the bat you do get your rule book for the TCG game you do get your energy deck right there you do get the sleeves and these ones are white and gold right there here's the code card for whoever wants to use this one for the ETB box. You do get some dividers. You do get a V-Star acrylic marker right there. You get, you know, your typical markers right here, condition markers, you get some dice. Not sure I like the, I'm a fan of the brown, but dice are dice and you do get eight packs. And these packs are beautiful. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, these packs just look so much nicer than the other, like Fusion Strike or Chilling Rain. I don't, I think I'm just a big fan of the white and the gold. Looks really clean. Nothing else inside. We'll go ahead and put all this extra goodies back in here. Let me go put this first so we can have it just like that. Draw this extra stuff in here. Like so, throw this on this side, throw all that, yeah let's try and be quick since I know everyone here is in it for the cards. So there's our box right there, beautiful looking ETB, and here we are, the first time opening some brilliant stars. Super hyped, let's get started. I don't know if there's a trick order for this. 
So for the first pack, we're gonna go normal and see what's up. We got a Grimer. Let me see if I get this focused right. We got a Grimer, Execute, Farfetched, Shinx, Cub 2, a Cub 2 Reverse, that's fun. And our rare is non hollow Dradigon. So that's our rare. We got Energy. We got Marnie's Pride, normal. Sigilith. Fresh Water Set. And here's our code card for whoever wants to go use that. So I think that means it's normal order, if I'm not mistaken. Four cards, yep. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and separate the reverse hollow right there. So first pack, you know, not a hit, it's all good, still got a lot of packs to go. That's a code card, let's use that, one, two, three, four, I forget, so if it's white that means it's a hit, right? Clefable, energy, nope, I did that wrong, so it's three to the front. So this is a rare, so white means it's not a hit. So for the ones that aren't hit, I'm gonna just go through normal. So it's our rare right there. We got Staravia, Gloria, Gabite, Golet, Corfish, Sock, Cherubi, Clefairy, and a Cast Form Reverse Hollow. Gonna open this up. I will say that these packs are easier to open than the other like Fusion Strike. Fusion Strike, Evolving Sky, Chilling Rain. So this is not a hit right here. Go ahead and do that. What's a white card? Is that a special card right there? If there's a white thing inside? Huh. So there's our code. And that's one, two, three. What does that mean? So this is our uncommon exit. I don't know the what's it called, the card trick for this. Maybe I'll just go normal for all of them. We got a Milsery, Nose Pass, Snorunt, Baltoy, Mincino. And there it is, our first Trainer Gallery card with Hound Doom, and it's a beautiful looking card. Look at that. Man, I do like the yellow border. This card just looks so good. I'm definitely gonna sleeve that up first. Our rare is a Flygon. And, huh, is this normal just to have like a regular V-Star card? The other packs didn't have it, or the... So yeah, I don't know what the, what's going on, but hey, we did get a Trainer's Gallery, and that's definitely going to get a sleeve. This is the right sleeve, yes it is. Go ahead and sleeve that up. Lab. Such a beautiful looking card. Put down the side. We'll go ahead and put this V Star card right there. And let's continue moving on. So, what do you guys think of the set so far? I know it just released like in the last week or so. And this is hard to open. But, what are your opinions on it? Like, do you guys like it better than Evolving Skies? Or, well, I think most people like it more than Fusion Strike and Chilling Rain. So this is not a hit right here, so we'll go through this normally. But yeah, I think I've been seeing that these pulls are a lot better to get because there are more cards to get, like better pulls to get. Reverse Hollow's Stadium, Clink Clang is our rare, and yeah. So I it looks like from what some videos that I've watched that people have been getting hits far more often than not, so that's always a good thing in my opinion, especially for people who are just here to collect it casually. Or just people in general, just to have it, get it easier. Especially for collectors, because at the end of the day, you just want to collect the cards that you like. And that's always the most important. Another card code right there. We'll just go through all these normally. Grimer, Duskull. This Farfetch art is always like so interesting. I always like when they do arts like this. Because it's such a cool design. Here's the artist. For whoever wants to see who the artist is. I don't know if you can see it. But it's Tomukazu Komiya. Yeah, Reverse Hollow's a muck. And we got Tornado's Rare. 
other four cards. I've been actually watching the newer anime, the newer season. Pokemon Masters, I believe, right? Masters Journey. And I do really enjoy it. I think it's fun. I do have an issue though with how easy it is to catch Pokemon. But I guess it makes sense because that's how they're approaching it in the games now. So, you know, it's kind of weird growing up. You would see you need to battle first, weaken the Pokemon, then you can catch it to where it is at now. But it's all good. And here we have our first hit right here. Here's the code for everyone to use that right there. And I get the code. Is it three? It's not three. Huh, what is it? Oh. You guys can see the cards right here. We got Milsery, Purloin, Spiritum, Starly, Riolu, Reverse Hollow the Double Turbo Energy, and our rare is an Agron V. Energy. So it is four. So we do get an Agron V as our first hit. Not really technically our first hit in the rare card slot. But that's cool right there. Agron looks really cool. Go ahead and put these to the side. Now we're down to our last two packs from the normal ETV. I gotta say, I, if it's not celebration ETVs, I don't think I get much luck with like regular ETVs. But speak of, we do have another hit right here. There's a code for everyone to use that. So that's one, two, three, four for judging off that one. Yep, it's four. I don't know what happened to the first one I counted four. Maybe I counted wrong. Grotel, Marnie's Pride, Team Yell's Cheer, Abuizel, Halucha, Electabuzz, Bidoof, Shinx, Reverse Hollow is a Baltoy, and our rare is an Infernape Regular Hollow. This is actually a really cool looking art right there. I'm a huge fan of the blue and then the red and the green. Just the colors really stand out. So I'm really happy with this. Just look at that. That's such a beautiful looking art right there. So I'm, I'm actually definitely sleeving this one up as well. Sometimes I feel too lazy to sleeve up hollows. But this one just looks really nice. So got to sleeve that up. Look at that. Such a beautiful card. And our last pack from the first ETB. Let's see what we get. We did get... Not a hit, a white code card. So here's the code for everyone to use that. Go through this quickly. Chinchar, Cast Form, Golette, Impotent, Shinx, Reverse Hollow Cynthia's Ambition. Our rare is this Escavalier. Here are the last four cards of the pack. So overall, not too bad from an ETB. We did get two hits, three if you include the Trainer's Gallery. So honestly, not bad for my first opening. Happy that we did get a Trainer's Gallery card right there in the Houndoom. Just look at that, it's such a beautiful card. All right, I'll go ahead and open up the Pokemon Center version so we can see what the differences are in terms of what's included, as well as if we have better luck with the Pokemon Center version. I'm going to open that, ooh, shouldn't have done that. Go ahead and open this up real quickly. I really do like the gold like foil on the Brilliant Stars logo. It just looks so cool. Open that up. You do get the player's guide. They're both the same as the last one. So you're not missing out anything there. Put this to the side. The inside as well is the same. Right there. So you're not missing out there as well. The actual inside of the box is the same. That's surprising. You would think they would actually have like at least Pokemon Center right there or something. Nope, it's just on the outside, so I guess if you do want to display this, the Pokemon Center version, you do have to keep this. That's the only way to tell. If you're just keeping the box when you open it, already big difference. You do have the deck box right here. It's a cool looking deck box. It's kind of hard to see the yellow and the white with the light reflecting right on it. But it's a beautiful looking deck box. Inside right here, you get... It said metallic coin, right? This doesn't feel metallic at all. It's a really beautiful coin, though. You could the straight off the bat, like right on the camera, I could see it just looks so cool. But it's not metallic. What is that? It says metallic coin. Well, 
I guess it looks metallic. That's a bit disappointing. But you do get different colored sleeves right here. It is gold. You do get the code card right there. And it is a Pokemon Center Elite Trainer box code. So there's a difference there. You do get another V-Star marker. You do get 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 packs. So that's good. Inside, the markers are the same. The dividers are the same. And you do have your energy. So other than the sleeve and the coin... And the amount of packs in the deck box, everything else is the same. I'm going to put this back in here. And stuff this in there. Put the sleeves and the deck, the energy cards right there. Oh, I thought I put the sleeves in there. Those are just the dividers. Put the rules and the V-Star. Is this how they kept it out? Let's put that there first. Yeah, this will probably all be skipped in the video. There we go. Actually, it might, it might not be. So you guys can see the struggle of putting stuff back inside the box. Especially if you're clumsy like me. But we do keep the coin out because it's a beautiful coin. And let's get to unpacking the packs. First up, we do have Arceus. Arceus, however you want to pronounce it. Not here to judge. White code card. Whoever wants to use that right there. Go through this quickly. Electabuzz, Bidoof, Clefairy, Grimer, Execute, Cafe Master as a Reverse Hollow. Our rare is the Dredigon again. And here are the last four cards of that pack. Yeah, I like these because they're so much easier to open. Another white code card, so that means another not a hit. There's a code for everyone to use that right there. But yeah, I'm happy to see that like, they do have some of the older starters right here. You got a throw, cast form, infernape. Ooh, I do like the art. Like I said, in the hollow, and now we have the reverse hollow. Just look at the colors on that. Such a beautiful card. Our rare is a breloom, and our last four cards are as follows. So yeah, I'm super excited. I wonder what kind of set the next one is gonna be. Like, how are they gonna like make these more fun to open? I guess. Not sure how you want to say that, but because you know it is pretty standard. The only thing that's really different about this is the new V Star and well, I guess that's the same for every pack, every box, every set is gonna be the same all for the most part. Trap, Trapinch, Gibble, Buizo, Holucha, or Reverse Hollows, Flygon. Rare is a Lapras. And we did get another of those V-Star cards. Right there. Here are the three cards. I do believe we now have the full evolution of Chimchar. Evolutions. Yeah, the Evolutions. I was thinking there's another name for it, but... No, it's just the evolu Evolution Tree is what I wanted to say. Yeah, so I don't know what these V-Star cards are for. Oh, we do have our first hit of the box right here. Go ahead and whoever wants to use that code, feel free. That's one, two, three, four. Let's see what we get. We get water energy. The energies are different. I just noticed. They look a lot nicer. Double turbo energy. Kindler. Prinplup. Impident. XU. Spirit Tomb, Clink, Sneasel, our Reverse Hollow is an Ultra Ball, and our rare is a Dusk Noir Regular Hollow. I will say so far, the, a lot of the hollows that I've gotten here, only two. The arts look really nice. I really like the color purple in this one as well. It's a pretty looking card. I always feel like Psychic Pokemons always have like the coolest color because I really like the color purple. And it just matches with Hollow so well. Look at that. I'm going to put down the side. So, so far out of one and a half ETBs, nothing crazy other than the one trainer gallery. But it's expected. ETBs aren't known to be having great hits. There's another code for everyone to use that. Sneasel again. Turtwig. Piplup. 
So it looks like we're running into a lot of the commons that we've seen already. I don't know if that's a normal... I don't think I've seen that, like... It's almost like... I don't know how to explain it, and I'm at a loss for words, so we'll just move on to the next topic. So how many of you guys have been playing Pokemon Arceus, Legends Arceus? Like, I've been playing it quite a bit, but I haven't been playing it as much as I like. Like, it's really fun, but I don't know. It feels like, for me personally, it's like a really fun game, but I just can't like... It's hard to say, it's like, it's a fun game that I can play for an hour. For hours, actually. But then when I stop, I don't feel the need to get back into it. But I feel like I could get back into it whenever I want and still have a good time. Does that make any sense? But yeah, I'm... Ooh, we do have something there. But yeah, I'm... And they announced Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, right? So I'm looking forward to that because it's... It seems like that's more of the mainline entry. Whereas Arceus is just like another spin-off. But Magmar Art is really cool right here. Impotent and our rare. Ooh, that's a beautiful trainer gallery card. Look at that. Sylveon V Max TG15 out of TG30. That's a beautiful card. Wow. I really like Sylveon. For me, my top three evolutions are no order Sylveon, Glaceon, and Flareon. Oh, wow, that's a beautiful card right there. That over there. Our rare is Electivire. Our last four cards are as follow. So not bad, it looks like. At least you get a trainer gallery card in every not every ETB, I don't want to say that. But your chances are you could get one in each ETB. So far. So I'm good with those odds. I'm not sure if that's consistent across the board. But we did get two trainer gallery cards so far. And that's always exciting. I'll open this up. Here's the code for everyone to use that one. I want to see what the color is. I'll just go through this normally. See, like we always run into Impidimp, Spirit Tomb, Clink, Sneasel. We have like four of these now. So that's weird. Not weird, just RNG. We got Sigilith is our reverse hollow. Grim Snarl pops back up again. Every single set. Every single opening, I feel like I either get a Grim Snarl or Obstagoon. Anyways, we've got three more packs left out of our two ETVs. And hopefully, we get another cool hit. Here we are. We do have another hit. So that's good. Whoever wants to use that code's right there. It's one, two, three, four. Energy. Fire energy. I, di I did think I saw something on the border, so. That's a good sign. Bear Arctic, Fracture, Tropius, Corfish, Sock, Cherubi, Clefairy, Carablast, Reverse Hollow is a Golette, and our rare is a Mimikyu V. Now, Mimikyu is a really cool looking card. It's such a weird Pokemon, in my opinion. Like, it's a Pokemon that's wearing a Pikachu thing just because it's jealous. And it wants to kill Pikachu or something like that. That's really dark for like a Pokemon. But the card is nice. The art is beautiful. So that's cool. Happy with that. We do have a Charizard art for our next pack. Hopefully we can pull one of the Charizards. We do have a black code card right there. Whoever wants to use that, go ahead. That's one, two, three, four. So it looks like maybe the trainer gallery you could get in any pack. Whereas, if you have a black code card, your chances of getting a hit are those ones, right? Psychic Energy, Torical, Double Turbo, Probopass, Carablast, Staryu, Burmy, Riolu, Magmar again. We do have another Trainer Gallery card. Eevee, nice. Eevee with Bill. Such a beautiful card. That is Bill, right? Not Gary. Yeah, that's Bill. There's our trainer art, and our rare is Moltres Regular Hollow. Moltres is cool. It's not as nice as the other two regular hollows that we got, but this is what we're here for. 
the EV one. I do believe I have the VMAX Climax version of this as well, so that's always nice to get the English and Japanese version of this. I'll put that to the side and we'll sleeve up our Moltres as well. So it looks like that Pokemon Center ETB is doing work. We're in our last pack and it is a Shaman. And let's hope we get something good on this one. But because I said that, we do get a white code card. So remember, if you're opening box or unpacking packs or unboxing boxes, never say anything like, oh, I hope you get a good card because it's going to... The RNG god, they're not going to smile on you. And they're going to be like, nah, you're getting that white code card or the code card, the color code that no one wants. So we'll go through this normally. Baltoy, Mencino, Chimchara, Chim Chancho, Golette. Boss's orders, regular reverse hollow. And our rare is a Mewtwo. So this isn't a hollow, but look at that art. Those colors really pop with the purple, the blue, the teal. And Mewtwo look pissed. That's a cool looking art. And then here are the last four cards of that set. And that's the end of our ETV battle. And for me, it's a no-brainer that the Pokemon Center ETB won because you did get five hits compared to three right here for the regular Pokemon Center ETB and you did get that dope metallic coin right there look at that just look at that it's shiny anyways if you guys like this video please hit the like button if you're feeling generous please subscribe till then guys take care and see you next time